Hi everyone, Tori here today with a Scrap Your Scraps video. It's been a really long time um, and my scrap bin is overflowing so I decided to make a couple Scrap Your Scraps um, layouts. And um, you can see my scrap bin off to the left there and you could see I am using four photos on this layout. And here's what I decided to do. I am scrapbooking some photos of my siblings. So Courtney, my younger sister, and Josh, my older brother. And I decided to make a layout like filled with scrap hearts. So I'm going to grab a bunch of scraps and I'm just going to cut out a bunch of hearts. And I'm doing it freehand. I wanted them all to be kind of like different, their own size. I wanted them to be not perfect hearts. But if you wanted perfect hearts, you could definitely use like a die or you could use a cuddle bug or... Cricket or I don't know silhouette whatever you decided to use for that even a punch would work for this but I really wanted like sketchy non-perfect hearts so I am just going through the different scraps in my bin and cutting those out now if this is your first scrap your scraps video let me just fill you in um, and tell you some details I love scrapbooking with my scraps. I have a scrap bin, this metal cookie tin, and I just fill it with scrap paper um, whenever I'm doing a layout and I have little pieces um, at the end of a kit. I just fill it up and then I try to make pages using mostly just scraps. And I have a whole series of Scrap Your Scraps videos, so um, if I remember, I'll link it below, but otherwise just check out the playlists on my channel and there's a whole bunch of Scrap Your Scraps process videos that you can check out and enjoy. And if you really love Scrapping Your Scraps, you should totally join us on the Scrap Your Scraps Facebook group. There's a lovely group of people there and we all share projects where we're using our scraps. And you can share non-Scrap Your Scrap projects too. Um, but we would just love for you to join us. I'm going to leave a link below to that Facebook group. Um, <clears throat> basically the way I look at it is when we use our scraps, we're using our supplies. Um, when we use our scraps, we're not wasting things. It's like good for us to use our money. And also it kind of stretches us because we have to use like whatever size scrap we have left over. And I just, ah, I love scrapping my scraps. Um, I've been kind of like super busy lately and when I've started scrapbooking I felt like I have to use the kits that I have because they're kind of piling up um, but every once in a while I just look at my scrap bin and I'm like I miss you I'm gonna make a layout so that's kind of like what happened here today and I figure these like hearts are a perfect way to use a whole bunch of different sizes of scraps and a whole bunch of different patterns and one of the things that I love the most about my Scrap Your Scrap videos is that it really stretches me to mix patterns and designs and to use lots of different ones. And I actually think that my Scrap Your Scraps layouts are my favorite out of all of them. I mean, I don't know if you feel that way. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might like my Felicity Jane ones or when I just use my stash, but I love my Scrap Your Scraps layouts. I don't know. Every time I look at one of them, it just makes me happy to see all that pattern paper on there. So back to the photos. Um, I am scrapbooking these four photos, like I said, of my brother and sister and I. Um, we were, what were we doing? Oh, we were in Toronto. We decided to go downtown and I think um, for my, oh, I know why we were downtown. So my brother's birthday was in February and I told him that I wanted to take him to the Ripley's Believe It or Not Aquarium in Toronto as a gift. And we decided to take my sister along cause she had just gotten back from Africa. And so then it was the four of us. Yay, it was so nice. So we were just walking it around taking selfies together and I just love these photos. It's just, I love my siblings. Um, if you've been watching me a little while, you know a little bit about them, but basically my little sister, um, lives in Kenya. So she was there the past two years and she just went back, um, to Kenya. And then my brother just recently moved to England to be a teacher. So they're like far away and I miss them. 
and we Skype or like text often, but I just really miss them. So I love this layout. It just makes me so happy. Even just talking about it, I feel happy. So back to the layout here. Um, I grabbed a giant doily from my stash um, to layer those photos on. It just felt like it would be like a nice layer. And I also grabbed some pink floral washi tape. And this washi tape I got from my cute little paper crafting stationery boutique thing in Toronto. It's such a cute story. They have so much washi tape. Um, and then I'm going to add my hearts. And I felt like they just needed a little something to help them pop off the background. So I decided to grab this um, midnight chalking ink and just ink the edges of them. And I don't think I make you sit through the whole thing, so don't worry. Um, but I just felt like it helped them pop. Oh, and by the way, the pink paper that you're looking at for my background paper is from the Felicity Jane kit. I believe it's the next stop kit. Um, and I was using that kit and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna use this paper with some scraps. And if you're making a busy layout like this with scraps and you're using tons of pattern paper, I want to like highly, highly recommend that you use a solid background or a super simple background paper. It'll definitely like make it look not so crazy on the layout. So this pink paper actually isn't just solid pink. It's, got, it's pink with like a little tiny white line like cross hatch through it but it's so subtle that it it really doesn't pull away from the photos or the craziness of these awesome hearts um so yeah I really like the way that it turns out and I decided to ink the edges of the paper too just to give the eye somewhere to rest um and so that works well and lately I've been challenging myself to use more of my stamps uh, especially the Felicity Jane ones that come in my kit so there was this one stamp in the kit that was like a cluster of three little hearts and I decided to just add those with some light pink I think it's pink lemonade um, ink onto the background just to add a few more hearts and to encourage me to use my stamps and it's so subtle like right now you can see it but when you add all the crazy hearts on top it's so subtle that it really doesn't draw your eye away it actually just it gives you just little extra details to look at when you're looking at it so um now the fun part I just grab my scrap of scraps and all those hearts that I cut out and I am hot gluing them onto the layout and you'll notice that I did not ink the edges of all the hearts I actually have like a huge pile of them to my right there and I'm going to use those for another scrap your scraps um, page so check back um, because I'm going to have another heart scrap your scraps layout soon um, I'm going to do something a little different for that one and um, basically I just kind of layered them all over um, some going off the page some going onto the photos and once I felt like I have filled it up I trimmed off the excess and um, then I'll just add a few little embellishments here and there, but that is going to be basically the totality of this layout is just my crazy siblings and a bunch of hearts <laughs> all over and scraps. And I just love it. Um, with such a busy layout, you definitely want to keep your embellishments simple. Um, so I am going to keep it simple by having just the date and a little tiny bit of journaling. And then I decided to use some of this crepe paper um, chipboard. There were tons of hearts on these chipboard sheets. And so I kind of just grabbed all of the chipboard hearts and I'm gonna layer those in with the other ones. And I felt like it would just really add to it because it's um, it would create like some dimension with the hearts because all the hearts were glued flat down to the page but then the chipboard kind of like rises it up a little bit. Um, I did need to ink the edges just so that it would match um, the background and match the, the hearts on there 
And so I basically just like ink the edges and then stick it down where I feel like it would look pretty. And that kind of works really well. Um, yeah, I really like the way that it turned out with that. So that's kind of like my, I'll say my embellishments for this layout are those, those chipboard hearts. But they, like I said, they don't really take anything away from the craziness that's already on the layout. And the Scrap Your Scraps hearts, I actually feel like they just add to the effect of all the hearts. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and so like I was saying, I would just keep your embellishments simple. Keep it in the same vein of your scraps. Add embellishments that match your scraps. And it won't make your layout look too busy or anything. It'll work really well. And my favorite thing about those chipboard hearts were there were some really tiny ones, which worked really perfectly. Now, at this point, I'm trying to decide how I will be doing my journaling slash title. And I want to keep it simple again. So I had this one sticker that said my favorite place. And it was on the next stop cut apart sheet. So I decided to just add my journaling around that. And that's it. Um, thanks guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye, loves.